Dear third semester mechanical engineering students, I welcome you all into my another video. Hope you are all doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing the super important questions for your third subject, material science and engineering. So most of the students were asking me for the important questions, right? So subject code is BME303. Let me discuss over here first the passing modules. Then later on, we will proceed for another modules, right? So first of all, we have here module second, which I consider into the passing module just because a lot of times the video has uh, repeated these important questions from module second and uh, you can easily grab more than uh, 15 to 16 marks in this particular module right so explain the term diffusion state and briefly explain the various types of diffusion mechanisms and next one is super important one that is state and explain fixed laws of diffusion there are two laws fixed first and second law you have to just state and explain next we have state and explain any two factors uh, that influence diffusion process next we have some definitions phase phase diagram phase equilibrium solubility limit and fifth one we have explain liver rule for the construction of phase diagram draw a neat sketch of iron carbon equilibrium diagram this is again a super important question it is frequently asked a uh, question in the vt examination and show all phases on the diagram also show the three invariant reactions draw neatly the solid solution binary phase diagram of a nickel copper system and explain briefly ninth one sorry eighth one we have explained briefly with the neat sketch uh, the eutectic system of two components completely soluble in liquid state and partially soluble in solid state ninth one we have discussed the homo row three rules for formation of solid solution last one we have explained the application of gibbs phase rule using binary phase diagram so these are the 10 questions which you have to cover from this particular module now coming to the module 4 which is again a passing module in which you have to surely refer these important questions with a flow chart explain briefly the powder metallurgy process and its application super important one enumerate the different powder production methods uh, with suitable sketch explain atomization method third one we have explained briefly thermal spray coating with suitable sketch mention the advantage of surface coatings and treatments fourth one we have advantage and limitations of powder metallurgy process and briefly explain chemical vapor deposition again super important one so you should focus on diagrammatic part but okay write a note on a lubrication and binders explain the physical vapor deposition process in brief and eighth one we have with a flow diagram explain the operations involved in making powder metallurgy parts explain the characteristics of metal powder right so these are the nine questions from your module fourth these are super important ones so next one we have module fifth here in which you have to go through these questions classify engineering metals enumerate the types of cast iron and mention the compositions properties and applications with a neat sketch explain the production of composite by filament winding process bag molding process and third one we have with a suitable sketch explain the production of metal matrix composite by citrus casting process fourth one we have what are the factors affecting the selection of materials explain briefly and the fifth one we have what is the chemical composition of gray cast iron show the microstructure by stating the various properties and uses of gray cast iron sixth one we have them the various alloying elements and their influence over steel alloys how are copper alloys classified and designate and state the properties and use of copper alloys so last three questions we will discuss over here that is how composite materials are classified state their constituents used and name and briefly explain the various types of fibers and matrix materials used for fiber reinforced plastics and uh, explain the process of obtaining material data this is all about module fifth coming to the module first we have here super important ones calculate the atomic packing factor for fcc and bcc unit cell in crystal structure enumerate the type of crystal imperfections and explain briefly and explain briefly with a suitable sketch grain boundary and twin boundary defects list the three primary classifications of solid materials explain briefly the distinctive chemical features of each classify and briefly explain primary atomic bonds define unit cell of a crystal lattice name and sketch the various crystal structures uh, commonly present in materials show the value of edge length sixth one we have explained the following terms related to crystal structure that is size of unit cell coordination number these are super important ones right atomic packing factors define and differentiate crystalline solids and amorphous solids define material science and engineering list eight commonly encountered engineering material ninth one we have what are the three metal crystal structures list five metals that have each of these crystal 
structures. Tenth one we have explained briefly with suitable sketches the plastic deformation by slip and twinning. This is all about model first. Coming to the model third which is again a passing module in which you have to refer these super important questions like what is solidification. Explain briefly mechanism of solidification with suitable sketches. Sam and explain the various mechanisms by which the nucleation of solid particles in liquid metal occurs. And third one we have draw a neat labeled time temperature transformation diagram TTT diagram for eutectite steel 0.8 percent and explain briefly okay so this is again super important one so you should focus on ttt diagram this question you should surely refer okay don't neglect it it will be the 10 marks question definitely so explain briefly the following heat treatment processes annealing normalizing tempering and uh, there are some uh, tempering types which you should refer uh, os tempering ma tempering right next one we have night riding what do you understand by critical radius for nucleation? Explain with suitable diagrams the process of precipitation hardening. Define homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation. Obtain an expression for critical radius of nucleus. With a sketch, explain flame hardening process. Explain strain hardening and solid state hardening process of strengthening of metals. What is hardenability? Discuss factors affecting hardenability. So these are all super important questions from your MSc subject. You still have four days. I hope you will cover these portions as soon as possible. And uh, there are some numerical part uh, which you can neglect so it is possible to pass the material science engineering subject without the numerical portions but if you want to score more than 90 marks in this particular subject so make sure you will refer the numerical part also uh, from the previous year question papers which i will upload on my instagram account you can refer those papers for your reference so this is all about today's video i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you